Ah, my shop exploded. I have piles and piles and piles of motors coming apart, and I still have a bunch more to do. But what I um, wanted to mention, because this was actually a good opportunity, because I have all three of these things here, is the difference between the clutch covers on first and second gen. So on a first gen, uh, the clutch covers, they can be gray or black, it doesn't really matter. And they look like this. Uh, it, the clutch cover is separate from the cover for the, for the, from the rest of the side cover. So the advantage to this is you can change the clutch on your first gen without having to drain coolant, without having to even really drain oil, um, and without having to redo the gasket is just this o-ring that's in here. Um, on a second gen, however, the problem with that is m the first gen side covers are plastic and they like to warp and leak. So on a uh, one option for dealing with that is this metal one. So um, I'm not sure who made this, but I, I'm pretty sure Woodcraft used to make them. Maybe somebody else. So on a second gen, however, you do have the advantage of a metal side cover, which doesn't warp, but it's all one piece. So if you're if you need to do the clutch, you have to drain the coolant, drain the oil, replace the gasket, all that happy stuff. There's also two different versions, and right off the top of my head, I can't remember. There's two different versions of water pump. There's one with this solid tail, and there's one with this pimple at the end. Uh, I'm not actually sure what the difference is. I'm betting that is just years difference. Fr from what I remember, the later second gens got this style. And the earlier second gens, like the 2003, definitely got this pimple. Anyway, so a couple of interesting things you can do with this information. If you are a second gen that goes to the track a lot and likes to swap out clutches every so often but doesn't want to do ha, have to deal with getting the oil you can actually run a first gen side cover um with a metal clutch cover if you're a first gen that has a leaking warped side cover uh, or clutch cover you can actually run a second gen uh side cover well after the swap so that you never have this problem ever again now, one thing to mention, if you're running, um, if you're running a cr uh, side covers across generations, the windows for where the oil level is are different on first and second generation bikes. And um, I actually measured this earlier. If you're running across generations, if you're running a first gen side cover on a second gen, you have to fill it to just above L because the uh, second gen window is uh, is lower down. If you're running a second gen cover on a first gen, you have to fill it just above F because the windows where these are relative to the oil level they are just slightly different and you can even see it see how this 2300 millimeter milliliter tag is uh, pretty close to the bottom of the circle it's a little further over here so if you're swapping right side covers you have to take that into account and fill oil a little differently. Your oil level now lies. But yeah, hopefully that helps somebody. Hopefully somebody can now solve either a leaking or a quick, quick clutch replacement um, conundrum. So let me know what you think. Let me know if I missed something.